Miezi tangu huduma za NMS kurejeshwa katika serikali ya kaunti kivuli chake bado kinazingira kaunti ya Nairobi. Whether we are John 2 times, 10 times, 50 times. Akifika mbele ya kamati ya seneti ya hesabu za umma, Governor Johnson Sakaja alifunguka baada ya kushutumiwa kwa kukosa kuwasilisha rekodi za ukaguzi wa mwaka 2019, mwaka 2020 kamati hiyo ikiulizia iwapo kunalo la kufichwa kutokana kukosekana kuwasilishwa kwa rekodi zilizoitishwa na ofisi ya mkaguzi we are not reopening that there has been a management letter auditor general na, did you no, no, did you not include uh, whatever you required in the management letter yes we did so and, governor and go back to the management letter and uh, in as much as we should be pronouncing ourselves on this we we said we want to do substantive justice Go back to your management letter, make sure that within seven days the Auditor General has been provided with the documents cited in the management letter. Sakaja anasema kuwa licha ya kukabidhiwa NMS iliyokuwa chini ya Jenerali Mohamed Badi alikuwa bado kukabidhiwa baadhi ya rekodi za kitengo hicho. How much is the pending bills in Nairobi city? Of course outside NMS. Katika kutegua kitandawili cha upungufu wa mapato na fedha zinazodaiwa kupotea ya takriban shilingi bilioni 41, Sakaja alipendekeza ukaguzi kamili wa NMS utekelezwe. There is complete need for a special forensic audit on those pending bills because work of 41 billion President Moi Kibaki did take out 40 billion. It is still there. We can see it. I appreciate a lot of good work that was done uh, by the by the NMS in certain areas in the city, but I cannot see 41 billion. And you cannot say it is tough because remember only four functions were transferred. 10 remained. And so Nairobi County was still running a payroll, was still running a county assembly. There were other functions still being delivered by Nairobi. It would be interesting to see the Auditor General's opinion on what transpired. Um, yeah. Yeah. Senator Nairobi. Yeah. NMS ilianzishwa mwaka wa 2020 wakati aliyekuwa gavana wa Nairobi wakati huo Mike Sonko alipokubali kuhamisha baadhi ya huduma kwa serikali ya kitaifa na rais wa zamani Uhuru Kenyatta kumweka Generali Badi kusimamia shughuli za jiji. Those that were undertaken under the executive office of the president NMS should be paid under the executive office of the president. Uh, which still exists it is only nms that doesn't exist but the office of the president still exists still as an accounting uh, officer holding that account those then that have you know the contracts that then came after the period i think those are the ones which now nairobi county government uh, should be able to to account for governor sakaja anasema kuwa jaribio la kutaka rekodi zimeonekana kugonga mwamba huko kamati hiyo chini ya uongozi wa seneta wa Homa Bay Moses Kajuang ikiweka wazi nia ya kumuita generali Badi kujibu maswali ya ukaguzi we have a team that is looking through all those files and uh, i think it would be it will make for very interesting reading what they are finding out so far so even for legal uh, bills we are not paying until they go through that process of verification even decret lamons we've asked that the committee just say yes these are decret, you know decrees that you must pay and we are, we've been paying uh, those Martin Opio K24 TV Nairobi